back into my channel. My name is Emily, if you are new here, and for today's video, we're gonna be doing a very fun video because I love haul videos. Because if you did not know, my birthday was last Saturday, so I officially turned 25, which is so wild to think I'm actually, now I'm officially halfway through my 20s, which I feel like I've been in my 20s like my whole life. I feel like I know nothing else, so it's so odd that they're only halfway over, but yeah, I just turned 25, and I love doing these videos, and I love watching like what I got for Christmas videos, and like what somebody got for their birthday, because I feel like you can learn a lot about a person, about the kind of things that people get for them for their birthday, if that makes sense, or if like people make like a list, whatever they put on their list, something like that. But if you don't know me, my name is Emily. I post a lot of lifestyle -y videos. I'd love to be a lifestyle channel. I like Funko Pops, Disney videos, love a good Disney vlog. I like outfit ideas, clothes, stuff like that. So if you're interested in any of that stuff, you can subscribe. The button is somewhere down there. So yeah, if you'd like to be friends and you're not subscribed yet, the button is somewhere down there and you can be a subby and yeah. So without further ado, let's get into what I got for my 25th birthday. So I only got things from like my parents, my sister, my brother. Not my brother. I don't have a brother. <laughs> Why did I say that? I, I don't have a brother. I don't know. I guess we'll start with what I got from my parents. So the first thing my parents got me, a variety pack of the Celsius drinks. These are the drinks I like to have before my workouts. They got this from Costco. I actually did request one of these. I was like, if you want to get me something, you can get me like the Celsius thing from Costco. So this has the orange, kiwi guava, and wild berry flavor. The wild berry is my favorite, but I like all of them. So they got me this. Then the next thing they got me, I think is so cute. I actually did pick this out at TJ Maxx. It is a little, I don't know what you call this, honestly, but it's like one of those things, you know, you work on the computer and you know, you type and it doesn't get your laptop all hot but I wanted this mainly because like it is pink and it does match my aesthetic whatever that is I consider my aesthetic to be a hot mess but anyway it has little dogs on it but in particular it has a boxer on it which boxers are my all-time favorite dog they got me this because they obviously know I do YouTube and now it'll be easier for me to edit other places like if I didn't have like an actual table I could just do my business on this that probably could have been worded better Anyway, then the next thing they got me is one of my favorite things. They get me this quite a bit. It's always a freezer bag from one of my favorite stores filled with goodies from my favorite stores, if that makes sense. So this year they got me a Whole Foods freezer bag and they actually did not get me anything, I don't think at least, from Whole Foods in it, but they filled it with goodies from Trader Joe's. I think they went to Joe's and they were sold out of the freezer bags there, so they ended up getting me a Whole Foods one. But this bag is so nice. It says you can use it for hot or cold items, but also it has like a, like a really big pocket for like a drink. I imagine it's for wine but I don't drink wine so I will just use it for like random stuff but yeah they got me this whole foods bag and then in it they just filled a lot of like good snacks in it also some of these I pretty much ate all of them but I kept the wrappers so I could show you the receipts they got me one of my favorite Sanders dark chocolate sea salt caramel this is from Costco I get this thing all the time I think they accidentally left it in the car overnight so it like all melted so it's just like one giant hunk of caramel and chocolate so I don't know how I'm gonna like maneuver around like using this or eating this but yeah they got me this giant thing of caramel and if you've not tried these these are so 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 yummy and delicious I'm not a huge sweet person I like salty stuff better and they're delicious they're like one of my favorite like sweet treats right now I love these they got me some granola that I've already ate like almost half this bag this is the grainless granola it's gluten-free from Trader Joe's okay this I've also ate this is absolutely empty they got me some beyond meat jerky I ate this whole bag already Chris also got me two bags of this like little bags and I already ate both of them so I don't have them to show they got some jerky had some jerky they got me these cookies are so good i've never tried these before and i was a little bit like mm, i don't know how those will be they're actually really really good and they are the sunflower butter cookies with roasted sunflower seeds vegan and gluten-free which anytime i find anything vegan and gluten-free and it's actually good well it doesn't have to be like amazingly good but just like pretty good i'm like that's pretty impressive because sometimes it's very hard <laughs> to do vegan and gluten-free and do it well but i actually really like these they're also free of wheat milk peanuts tree nuts eggs soy and sesame so you're probably like what the heck is it made out of then it is made out of sunflower seed butter Good to know, but I really like these. And there's only one cookie left in this whole entire box. Okay, I ate all of these. This is also empty. This is not vegan or gluten-free. I think they just got me these because they know I would love these regardless of if they're vegan or gluten-free. And I did, I ate all of them. They are the dark chocolate almond butter filled pretzel nuggets. This bag is empty. This bag also, it got melted and I had to eat them in like one giant chunk. But these were so, 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 so good. They're like a really good treat. Then they got me two little like, uh, I guess I don't know what you call them, veggie snacks. But I ate one of them and I cannot find the bag. But they're just the like, you know this like, 
like peas you can get that are like dried peas and uh, they look like peas. <laughs> they got me a bag of those and then they got me a bag of the crispy crunchy okra. Let me know down below what you think about okra because I really love okra. I love pickled okra. I love fried okra. Okay and then I feel like the rest of the stuff in this bag they were just like we don't know what else here is like vegan and gluten free so we'll just get her anything that's vegan and gluten free that we think she would like which I appreciate. So they got me a box of organic spaghetti squash nests which I think you eat them with pasta sauce. I've never tried these so I will try these. They got me a thing of butternut squash soup which I have not tried this but I'm excited to try it with the fall coming up. I think this is also vegan. They got me two jars of kidney beans which I love a good bean salad or a chili. The fall is coming up. Love a good chili moment. And then the piece de resistance and it is the peanut butter. The peanut butter at Trader Joe's is so good. I consider myself not a peanut butter snob, but it's like peanut butter is one of my like top five favorite foods of all time. I love peanut butter. This is the best peanut butter of all time and I will die on this hill. Okay, so they got me some of those and that's everything they put in my little freezer bag. And then the last little bag my parents got me. Oh, first thing, they got me a little eraser that is an Eevee. Is that so cute? She's actually really well detailed and I'm definitely not gonna use this as an eraser. She came with like two packs of cards, but I think I already opened them and I think I did get some hollow cards in it, but I can't really remember what they were. I just put them like in a stack. I think she came from Walmart. Then my mom got me a jacket. I think she actually thrifted this, which my mom is like me, she's a thrift queen. And I think this is so cute. So it's just a little pink zip up and it has I think this is like it's like a brownie blacky kind of color and it's a little bit cropped I'm very proud of my mom for picking this out because it's very much something I would have picked out and I think it's really really cute If you guys have seen any of my other videos, you probably know I have like a white. I mean not a white Why am I getting so confused today? I have like a pink puma jacket that I wear a lot of the times. It's like a cropped zip up. It's really similar to this, but that one is not like waterproof. It's like a cottony material. So like it gets wet outside. Whereas this one is more of like a rain jacket material. So it's like so nice that now I'll have a jacket similar to that puma one that I can actually wear out in the rain. I don't know how she did this. She found some sneakers that almost match identical. Okay, they're these black pinky brown shoes and I have to tell you normally I am a white shoe gal I like a white Nike a white whatever I don't even care about the brand just a white shoe but when I saw these I was like I'm excited about these and I'm excited to try and style these because I've never had shoes like this because most of the time I just stick to white sneakers because in my eyes they go with everything even though some people are applied like those are hideous but anyway she got me these and don't they just match this like so perfectly look at my mom go but she got me these and honestly Honestly, I wore these the other day. I like made a little fit. I can't remember what I was wearing, but they actually look really, really cute on. And I'm so happy about these because they definitely like push me outside of my like shoe comfort zone. So I thought these were super duper cute and I really, really like them. And she thrifted these and they don't look hardly worn at all. And then because those shoes were thrifted, I don't know where they are or where I've sat them, but my mom gave me some like insoles to put in those shoes because they're thrifted. I guess she thought they have been like worn or something like that. So she gave me some insoles to put in them. They might be in one of these bags, but I don't know where they are. Then the next Next thing, this is something I also get like my birthday, Easter, Halloween, Christmas, anytime you can give somebody a gift, I always get this. And it is toothbrushes. I go through toothbrushes quite frequently. I brush my teeth, man, like, like it's going out of style. I think it's from where I had braces. And I switched to only using baking soda because it has that grit to like clean your teeth. You know, you can buy it in the little box at like Walmart. My parents went above and beyond and they got me an industrial size bag of baking soda, which I'm super excited about because you can never have too much of this when you're me because I brush my teeth all all the time. And then I think the last thing my parents got me was just a little like razor refill for my razor. This is the Shake Intuition Pure Nourish Razor Head. And I think that's the last thing my parents got me. If I could find those insoles, I'll like show them, but I really have no idea where they went. But yeah, that's everything my parents got me. And thank you guys so much. I appreciate everything. Chris was just here. I thought I would go ahead and talk about what he got me. So he actually got me a few things before my birthday and they're already like gone. So one thing is he got me a like big, like a big, like a store size box of Smart Sweets. And if you don't know what Smart Sweets are, they're essentially like, their market is like healthy candy. I don't know how healthy they are, honestly. But he got me a box of those and they're like really yummy. And then he also got me a big box of Tone It Up protein bars, which I talked about those on my channel maybe a month or so ago. And I was like, I found them at Walmart and they were on clearance. So he got me a couple boxes of them and brought them home. And I already ate all of them, so I don't have them to show, but he did get me that and that. <laughs> Look at this little bag. It has the minions on it. I am not gonna 
see the new Minion movie yet. I do want to go see it. I don't know why. I think the Minions are very cute. I feel like there's part of me that's like that like middle-aged mom that likes the Minions, but like is not a Karen because I would never ask to speak to a manager. That is just not my style, but I do like the Minions and I like Candy Crush. But he got me a protein powder and this is from the same brand, the Tone It Up plant-based protein. And this is the vanilla unsweet and I made a smoothie bowl this morning with this and I really, really liked it. Then in the other bag, he got me full of like all sorts of goodies. First, he got me two Funkos, which y'all know I love my Funkos. He got me a Dragonite Funko, which I think I've actually mentioned this before. He got me this for Christmas last year and it just now came in. Tomorrow is August 1st and I just now got my Dragonite, so I'm counting it as like a birthday gift even though he ordered it for me for Christmas. And how cute is this? I think it's so, so, so cute. I've not even taken it out of the box yet. And then the other one he got me, you're not even ready. It is my queen Lapras. I am the biggest Lapras stan. I stan her. She is just an icon, a legend. She is the moment and I'm here for it. I bought the big jumbo one and it came in last week and I think I put up a video about me unboxing it. I don't know if I actually uploaded that or not. I did edit it and I did like put it up on YouTube, but I'm not sure if I said it live. <laughs> but I have this little one to go next to my really, really big one. And I want to get like a bunch of these little ones, like 12 of them. And I want to paint them like every single color of the rainbow so I can have like big Lapras and then a bunch of little ones like in all different colors. Could you imagine a yellow Lapras? <laughs> Could you imagine? Because I know they have purple Lapras. She's shiny Lapras. And I want to get one and paint it purple. Lapras is just an icon. She's everything. So he got me Lapras. Then the next thing he got me, I actually don't have the actual like box to show you all, but he got me a box of Pokemon cards. Like one of the like boxes. Uh. Bruh. So he got me one of them. I'm not sure what it was called. I'm not sure if it was like Diamond Eevee or like Radiant Eevee, but it's from the Pokemon Go series. I love Pokemon Go. And I will leave my friend code down below if you play Pokemon Go because I'm a good friend. I send gifts and stickers. With it, it came with this beautiful playing mat, which I don't really like play the card game. I have before, but it's like I'm not super into it. I just love collecting stuff. I really do. I collect all sorts of stuff. So he got me this little mat, which how cute is that? She's like a shiny Eevee, which not to toot my own horn and brag, but I do have a shiny Eevee in Pokemon Go. <laughs> I did catch a shiny Eevee. I remember I caught her when my sister was driving the car and I was right in the middle of the street and I was like, oh my god, you've got to stop the car right now. It's a shiny Eevee. Actually kind of like mouse pad material. So if I ever wanted to sit my computer on this and like edit, I could like use my mouse. So I got this, which I think is so, so, so cute. And she's so pretty. And then with that, it comes with a little pin. And it's a little shiny Eevee pin. So cute. Why is that so cute? So he got me that. And then I did keep out some of like the better cards that we pulled from like the box. We actually got some pretty decent cards. We never like buy them and like sell them. We just like keep them as like a collection. So I don't honestly know how much they're worth. But to me, if it's a full art card, it's good. Even though sometimes they're only worth like a dollar. But this card, this first card, I swear, this box was made for me. Look, it's a hollow Lapras. A hollow Lapras. Oh my goodness. Look at Lapras. Oh my God, she's such a queen. So what a beautiful specimen. And then I got, I think this is an alternate art. I don't know. Conklador, however you say that. He's not the cutest in the room, but I think he's an alternate art. Then this card is like the one that comes with the box. So if like you buy that box, you're like 100% gonna get this card. Is that not so beautiful? Look at Eevee. She is beautiful and so cute. Look at that. Eevee is probably my second favorite Pokemon. I think the mainly the reason I go with Lapras above Eevee is just because Eevee is like, everybody knows Eevee. She's on so much stuff. So many people's favorite is Eevee. And I'm like, I do love Eevee. I get why she gets all the hype and I get why people love her. But it's like, I need to share the love to someone that doesn't really get it, but deserves it. And that is Lapras. Lapras, okay? Don't be hating on Lapras. <laughs> and then the last one, I think this is a pretty good card. I really don't know. It was just a little, well, not little, he's kind of big as me. A Mewtwo V Superstar, is that his name? V Star. <laughs> v Superstar. You're a star, baby. But yeah, these were the Pokemon cards I got out of that box. And I think it was such a good box because, like, you get you get a decent amount of packs, you get the pin, you get the playing mat, and it's Eevee, which is super nice. And then two things he got me early that he let me have were these little ducks. How cute are these? This is a Mickey and a Mini duck. These are from Dollar General. He got me these as, like, an early gifts and I just wanted to keep them and show them. They're only a dollar a piece, which is super cute. And he literally brought these home and he was like, I instantly regret getting those for you because he knows me. I'm somebody that once I get something, I want to get them all. So he got me these and then I wanted to get all of them. Oh yeah, at GameStop, which is where he bought that Eevee box, they have like a promo going on. I think like if you bought that, if you spent over so much money, you get a little Pikachu holo card. How cute is that? He's got a little hat. My inner Pokemon fan is coming out. Then the next thing he got me was actually a little hand sanitizer and it has Kirby on it. How cute is that? I think when Chris bought this, he said it was around $3, but he said he went back a couple weeks later and they marked them down to $1. $1 for a Kirby Germix, I think it's such a good deal. And I don't know where my backpack is, it's somewhere around here, but I have like a Kirby Puff on my backpack. This would match so well, so I'll have like my Eevee backpack and then I have a Kirby Puff on it and then I have a Kirby Germix on it. Very easy to spot out in public if you see somebody with that bag combination, that's me. Then next he got me a squishy, what is, I always butcher the name.
name of these. It's either Squishimal or Squishmallow. Squishmallow? Squishable. Squishville by Squishmallow. Don't know, but it's a little pineapple car. <laughs> Why is that so cute? And then driving it is like this little sloth. It's the sloth. But he got me this and I thought it was so cute. And then I think the last thing he got me was some socks, which have stitch on them, which is so cute. I love stitch. All have like little stitches on them, which I thought were so cute. So he got me these socks. So thank you, Christopher, for all of the gifts. You did such a good job picking out stuff for me and I appreciate all of it. So then next we'll move into what my sister got me, my sister Julie. I hardly ever buy my own Squishmallows. I think I've bought one for myself in my whole entire like collection. And I have a pretty big collection, but it's because like my sister loves them. Whenever it's like Chris or I's like birthday, Easter, Christmas, whatever, she'll always give us Squishimals. So I had a feeling I would get some this year. And my oh my, she went uh, above and beyond getting the Squishimals this year. So she gave me two big Squishimals, which I've never, I don't think, had one this size before. And this one is, <laughs> it's a watermelon. <laughs> Its name is Lena, like a Lena Shea on TikTok. <laughs> her and Christopher actually coordinated to pick these out. Julie actually got me the pineapple. There's those shoe inserts. My mom got me these. These are some soft comfort everyday gel. Women's size five to nine. Two pairs for ten dollars. I don't know where she bought these but if you're looking for a, a deal on inserts hit me up and I'll ask her where she got these. But my sister got me the pineapple squishy to go with like the watermelon because I'm into all things tropical summery and this one is Maui. You're welcome. <laughs> and this is actually the same squishmallow as the little car Chris gave me. So yeah, I've got a little pineapple car and then this pineapple, which is so cute. So thank you, Julie. I like getting the squishimals from you. Then the next thing my sister gave me was a pair of shorts. So I saw this pair of shorts on Target and they were so, so, so cute. They were like bright orange. Like I wanted to buy them so bad, but I was like, no, I should wait and try to get them for my birthday. So I like told my sister, like, if you need to get me anything, you can get me these shorts. And when she went to get them, they were sold out. So she had to get me them in a different color. But is this Fuchsia? don't know. She got me them in this like fuchsia color and they're so cute. They're like high-waisted but like a good high waist. I don't like too high-waisted. And they're like cuffed at the bottom and they're so cute and they fit so super well. So she got me these shorts and having them in this color just makes me want them in that orange color even more. And I keep looking on target.com and they're still sold out. I'm sad they won't come back in stock because summer is almost over but I literally have it favorited on my like target app for when those shorts come back in because these are such cute and comfortable shorts. So she got me these. Then the next thing my sister got me is something I saw at target while we were together one day and I was like if you need to get me something get me that because I would like that and it is a pair of hedgehog socks anybody that knows me knows I love hedgehogs whenever I saw these I was like I would like those so she got me these hedgehog socks I think they're so cute they came with two pairs they have like these like diamonds and whatever but I really just wanted them for the hedgehogs so she got me these so thank you Jubo then she got me a little mystery squish and it is another little like uh is this is a sloth I think this might be a sloth but this one's wearing a little shirt and it has like a little orange slice on it so she got me this if you saw my like P.O. box opening video or really like a lot of my videos it's probably shown in them my backpack I carry is like my evolutions backpack I'll put a picture of it like here it's the bag Brendan gave me for Christmas I saw it hot topic they like came out with a wallet that matched that bag but she went and it was sold out but she actually picked me out two other like little wallet things instead so I can put them in my bag and they're so cute so she got me this little like card holder that has Evie and Pikachu on it is that not so cute and then on the back it's just like them and little cupcakes how cute so she got me this one for cards and then she got me a little coin purse which I did not expect her to get me. This one is so cute. It just has Pikachu and Pichu and a little donut and some sprinkles and it's like super cute. So she got me this little set to put in my Pokemon backpack and I feel like it'll match. Super cute. So thank you Jubo. And then the last bag my sister got me. I actually asked for some of this stuff because I wanted to try it and I don't know if you all have noticed like at Walmart in like the cosmetic section they have a collab right now out with like Wet n Wild that features Stitch. That is like marketing done right because if it says Stitch I'm interested and I want to buy it even though like if they would have slapped like something else on this I would not have been interested. Stitch literally does not make this work any better or be any better, but I just wanted it because it was Stitch. So she got me these makeup brushes, which are so cool because like if you look at them, they have like glitter in them. Cool is that? They're like glitter brushes. Then she got me this cute little makeup bag that has Stitch on it. Look at it, Stitch is like a tourist. And then it has like some little stickers and things like that on it, which I thought was so cute. I actually do have a pretty big makeup bag. My sister also gifted me it. I think she gave it to me for my 20th, the 21st birthday. That's been like 
four years ago. No, yeah, oh my God. Bruh. We went to Ireland together and she picked it up for me there and gave it to me and it's a pretty big bag. So I already have a makeup bag that she gave me. So I was thinking with this one, I could use it as a camera bag for my like camera and batteries because it has a little handle. So I feel like it'd be good for me to like put my camera in this. And the inside of it, it has a little beauty blender and a little, I think this is like an exfoliator maybe. I really don't know. It says sponge and scrub. So I'm guessing it's an exfoliator. Again, I'm trying to get into makeup, but I really struggle. I don't know why I just, it doesn't come naturally to me at all. But how cute is that? It's like a Stitch Beauty Blender and then a little surfboard to exfoliate, I think at least. I really don't know. How cute is this packaging? I just love it. And then lastly, she gave me the eyeshadow palette, which this is the thing I feel the most comfortable with because I do wear eyeshadow. I know how to do eyeshadow. It's basically like painting. And I think these colors will be pretty easy for me to use, except maybe some of these down here I'm a little nervous about. I'm a very much like a neutrally warm tone person. I think this is so cute though. And here are some of the names of the colors. I think it's so cute. And then my friend Stella, I think I've mentioned her on this channel before, but she got me this little exfoliator and I think this is so cute and so well done. It's meant to be like sand. They gave the, like the tool you use it as, a little like sand shovel. That is like such cute marketing. I absolutely love that. I think it's so well done. As you can see, there's like a little sand shovel right here. And this is supposed to be like sand. So it's like you're kind of like building a sand castle. How cute is that? Oh yeah, my friend Stella also got me this little, I don't have it yet because she like ordered it online, but it's essentially like a little like crossbody kind of like purse that like looks like a camera, which I thought is so cute. And she thought it was so fitting for me because I do YouTube and I think it'll look really cute in like Instagram pictures and stuff like that. So thank you, Stella. And I think that's everything my family and like friends gave me. But if you know me, <laughs> you know. I always have to buy myself a few things. And I did that this year. Most of the time I think I buy myself is shoes. I love sneakers. I don't know why, it's just like, I love them. Every single year for my birthday and Christmas, most of the time I'll buy myself a pair of shoes. But I was like, I'm gonna wait this year on those and get them a little later in the year. So I decided to get myself some different stuff this year. First, I found this sticker at the dollar store. It just has stitch on it and I thought it was cute. So I got this sticker for myself. I'm not sure where I'll put this yet, but I thought it was cute. So I got a sticker. Then I saw the socks at Walmart that my sister got for me and I saw they had this cute little crab pair which I thought was so cute and on the back it has like little like crustaceans I thought these would go really well in Florida even though they're socks it's like nobody would see them but they remind me of Florida okay my camera battery died and I can't guarantee this angle is the exact same but we're just gonna go with it because we're almost done I did pick up another Funko for myself I got this one at Hot Topic on my actual birthday we went to the mall and it is just a little Bambi with a little butterfly on his butt and I thought it was so cute and then the last thing I got myself at Target I got myself the giant sleepy Jigglypuff I just think she's so precious look at it Look at it, look at it. It's a Jigglypuff that's sleeping. And I think she's just so squishy and we love it. Jigglypuff is one of my top five favorite Pokemon. My favorite Pokemon are Lapras, Eevee, Jigglypuff, Shellos, and Caterpie. So I'm not sure if she's a Target exclusive, but they have her at Target. She's in like the little kid section and I have no shame. I love my sleepy Jigglypuff. So I got this for myself as my like big gift. Oh yeah, and then I went to the dollar store and I found the other Disney ducks as a gift to myself. <laughs> I just like to collect, I don't know why. I'm not a hoarder though, because it's only collectible stuff. I'm not a hoarder, okay? It's different, I feel like, if you have some organization, which I do. Not very much, but I have some, okay? <laughs> but I got a Tigger one, a Winnie the Pooh one, and then a little Ariel one. How cute is that? So I got these ducks for myself for my birthday. Then every year for my birthday, one of my favorite things to do is go thrifting. So I did go thrifting for my birthday this year, and I just got a few things. Chris actually found these next to two things for me, some little initial letters, and they just happened to be my initials, E-N. And this has happened once before. I have been to a Goodwill, and they had two random letters, and they happened to be my initials. They're actually on the very top of this bookshelf. You can't see them, but I have an E-N already, and he found me another set of E-N, and this was the only two they had, and I was just like, how like lucky is that that they have my two initials, and these are super cute. Then next, this next thing, uh, I love hedgehogs and I had something hedgehog so I had to buy it and I thought it was cute. Look at him! It's like a cookie jar. It's a cookie jar and I thought it'd be really cute for fall and it's a hedgehog so I got it. It was my birthday, okay? Don't judge. It was my birthday. I'm one of those people that when it's my birthday, it's my day, okay? It was my day, so I bought a webkin. <laughs> this one is like a pink pig with little flowers and I thought it was so cute and I just wanted it, okay? Look at this. But yeah, I wanted this pig webkin, so I bought this pig webkin. I also bought some pig slippers. Aren't these so cute? It was like a sign. God was just saying, take it, take it. I put it in front of you, take it. So I was like, you know what? I will take it. So I took it. Well, I didn't take it. I paid for it. I didn't steal it. But I got this pig and I got these pig slippers because they were in my size. They didn't look like they'd been worn ever. Like you can look at the bottom. They don't look worn at all. So I got some pig slippers. 
and I got a webkin pig. Oh, and then Chris found this for me. It's just like a little like storage box. And on the outside, it has like some little cheetahs, like different colored cheetahs. And then on the top, it has another cheetah with sunglasses and it says RAR. Do y'all remember in like 2008 or nine when RAR was a thing, like RAR XD and everything was like neon and you had those sunglasses that had like the bars across that you couldn't see any out of. What a time. And then I think lastly, I just have four items of clothing I picked up that I wanted to show. First off, I found my favorite sports bra. This is one of the like Walmart Avia, I think is how you say it. These sports bras I absolutely love. They're like the super high impact ones. They're great for hit workouts, which are like my favorite workouts to do. I found this one in hot pink in my size and I got it. Then next, this item, I swear, I feel like I manifested this because this item is something I literally have on like a liked board on like my eBay of stuff I might buy in the future. And it was like 15 or $20 on eBay. But I found it at the Goodwill for like four and it was literally the exact same thing. And it is just this little like, isn't this so cute? It's just like a little orange and white checkered skirt. I thought this would be so cute in the fall, like Halloween time. So I got that. Then next I found one dress that is very me. It's just a yellow flowy dress. I don't have any dresses like this. I have one yellow dress. It's from H&M, but it's very much that like skater style dress, which some people would say is out of style, but I really don't care. If I feel good in it, why would I care? So I still wear my skater skirts and my skater dresses because like, no offense, but who are you? <laughs> who are you to say that? <laughs> So I got this dress because it's a little bit more of like a mature dress than the skater dresses Even though I love them and I'll probably always wear them because I think they're so flattering and cute But I got this dress that I thought was so pretty. I've never heard of this brand. It's from Selfie Leslie <laughs> You go Leslie, but I thought this was so cute and pretty so I got this dress And then the last thing I got last part of my birthday haul some people are probably gonna say this is so ugly So tacky, but it's so me and I'm not ashamed. I love this thing. It is <laughs> a palm printed jacket I love the palm print. I'll die on this hill. I think it's cute. I would absolutely love to have my house like this kind of themed, like very tropical, very jungle-esque, very cute. It has a hood. It'd be good for rainy days. It's got like a big pocket on the front. It has like several pockets actually. It zips. Look at that. I just thought it was so cute and so very me. It seems like very lightweight. I thought it'd be good for Florida, like Animal Kingdom. I thought this would be good if it was like a rainy day because I just love it. I love the vibe of this. I just see myself wearing it a lot. So I got this. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what all my friends and family gave me for my birthday and also what I gave myself because I'm a Leo. So some of my people might say I'm a little self-obsessed and to them I would say nothing. I don't have anything to say to that. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I hope you guys are having a good day today. And I will see you all really soon in another video. Bye, guys. <laughs> I